The Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is a really interesting phone in a lot of ways. And I know I've had some positive things to say. I've had some negative things to say. There's some missed opportunities here. But there are five things about it that I want to talk about in this video that I think are actually really special. And the most special thing about this phone, I'm going to get right into it, is the screen. Now, the screen here, we're talking about a $449 mid-tier phone and it's actually on sale on Amazon right now for 350 here in the States which is a good deal 350 this is a great deal 6.5 inch AMOLED display 120 Hertz refresh rate 800 nits brightness this thing has a flagship caliber screen and that's not something you typically see in the $400 price point especially not a $350 price point Samsung knew what they were doing here when it comes to this phone they're like okay Yes, we're going to we're gonna anchor this with a Exynos 1280 processor, which is not the greatest in the world, by any stretch of the imagination. It's very capable. It's very going to get you through the day, and it's going to let you do pretty much whatever you want with it. But what really makes it special is this screen. Because when you pick it up, when you look at it, when you see someone holding it, it just looks nice, and it's enjoyable to use. And what, do, what are the two most important things that people do with their phones now? They stare at their screen all the time. They want a nice one. And then they use the cameras. So the camera looks great on the screen. And I'm going to segue into that because the camera is the second best thing or cameras. And I knew that they were onto something when I watched the keynote because it was all about this guy right here. The selfie camera on the front. 32 megapixel selfie camera is capable of 4K video at 30 frames per second. And it's actually pretty good. Now, it's not the most amazing in the world. But you can tell that they actually spent some time on it to give you a good overall camera experience. Not a lot of mid-tier phones have 4K video, much less on the front-facing selfie camera. If you look around a lot of the competition, if you look at the Motorola G Stylus 5G, 1080p at 30 frames per second, not so great. So when you look at stuff at this price point in the competition, it's just not really there. So... Yes, 4K, 30 frames per second, the front and the back. Not only that, the main shooter's got phase detection autofocus, optical image stabilization. You get HDR on the front-facing selfie camera. So all that means that you get to take good selfies, good video. It's perfect for social media. Yes, this phone is perfect for the TikTokers, the Instagrammers, the YouTubers, all the people out there who are living their life, staring at their beautiful screen all day, using the cameras, and don't want to spend a lot of money. It's 350 bucks. this phone is, is pretty darn good. And I think that if it's targeted really well at the teenager to early adult market group because those are a lot of people who spend a lot of time on social media, a lot of time typing, a lot of time snapping photos, a lot of time communicating with each other, sending photos, videos back and forth. This is your guy at that price point. 350 definitely go buy it. 449 yeah, there's some other things to consider, but that doesn't mean that this doesn't still have the best looking screen in the four or $500 price point. There we go. So yes, the screen is the best in the mid-tier department on this phone. It's It makes it, that's what makes this phone so enjoyable. If you're going to sit down and you're going to use it, 120 hertz refresh rate, 6.5 inch screen, nice and bright, great colors. You don't feel like you're being cheapskated here. You don't feel like it's an afterthought. That's the feature. So number one is the screen. Number two, the camera. Number three, the software updates. How many mid-tier phones do you know that are getting four years of operating system updates and five years of security patches? Not a whole lot. In fact, what I've been looking at here recently with the Motorola G Stylus or Moto G Stylus 5G 2022, one operating system update, three years of security patches, and that's Motorola security patches. Samsung has completely changed their life. They're they're a born again software updater. They used to that used to be not. Not a priority. It was the farthest thing from the wind. And now with this one, four years of operating system updates. That means it started with Android 12. You're going to get Android 13, 14, 15, and 16. This is good up to Android 16 and a year of security patches beyond that. When in your wildest dreams would you imagine a $400, $300 phone like this, of this caliber, that you could actually use for several years, and then you're going to get it supported for four to five years? That's just mind-blowing. It's even better than what Google offers. Google doesn't even give you four years of operating system updates. You get three. So the fourth thing, the fourth best feature on here is the battery. 5,000 milliamp battery in this phone. It's not big. It's not fat. It's not bloated. It feels nice in the hand and combined with that Exynos 1280 gives you all day battery. It'll carry over to the next day if you need it to, but you can do stuff all day long. And that's the thing. That's the rub when it comes to this phone. 
They give you the big screen to enjoy. They give you the cameras to entertain yourself and entertain others. And then they give you the battery to feed all of that stuff. So if you want to be consumed up with your phone, using it all the time, taking your pictures, shooting your videos, just enjoying using your phone, the 5,000 milliamp battery is huge when it comes to this phone. The Exynos 1280, not the most powerful processor in the world, but it's very capable of doing day-to-day -day stuff which is what this phone is designed for. It's a good day-to-day -day phone that lets you do all your social media stuff. And last but not least, the fifth thing I like is the design. Now, I wish it had a stylus. If they put an S Pen with this, they would have knocked this socks off the three, four, five hundred dollar price market. They would have, they, they really should have done that. that. That's a huge missed opportunity. They put, should have put a stylus in here, but yes, the design. It's even made out of plastic and that's cool. It's nice. It feels good in the hand. It's balanced. I love the way it looks on the back. I like the design. The camera bump, it sticks out just enough to where you notice it and it looks nice and it looks premium, but it doesn't feel cheap. And then you don't get any of the fingerprints. You don't get the oils. You don't, it doesn't even hardly show scratches. And all that combined, you get the flat screen. Ergonomics on it are great. It's lightweight. It's not heavy. You can get accessories for it. It's a premium looking phone. And one of the things that's always a downside for mid tier phones is they don't have that flagship feel. There's definitely something to the flagship feel on phones because you use all premium stuff. So when you look at this, it's essentially a big plastic phone. It looks nice, it feels nice. You couldn't tell it's not a nice premium phone if you didn't know any better. And it's still a nice phone. That's the other thing we get here. When you talk about a phone like this now, $400 four years ago did not get you a very good phone. $400 nowadays, $350 even, and if you want to pick one up, I've got an affiliate link down in the description. You can go straight to Amazon and get it. It's a premium phone for, for what you get. And we criticized like the Note 10 when it came out, or the Note 20 because it was $1,000 and it had a plastic back. People lose their minds when it comes to plastic backs and plastic features on a $1,000 phone. And a $450 phone done this well, it looks nice. You wouldn't know any any better if you didn't tell somebody didn't tell you and it's nothing that you need to be ashamed of carrying around it's not like before where it's like if you don't have an iphone and you're still using a flip phone you get shunned by society you're like oh well you got the cheap phone you must not have money you don't want to spend money and buy this really expensive phone you can carry this one around and laugh all the way to the bank because you didn't spend a thousand dollars on a phone you spent like 350 or 400 bucks and that's a good deal. So those are the five things that I like the best about this phone that I think are the best, most outstanding features. And maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. You can, we can talk about that in the comments. It's up for discussion because everybody has different priorities. We could talk about the speakers. It's got stereo speakers on it. We could talk about how it's got 5G. It's got a good signal on it. We can talk about a lot of different things. But this phone, I think, at 350 is a very good deal. But I wanted to talk about the top five features because... A lot of people, you go to these videos and you go, okay, I've seen the same video, the same video, the same video. And I hear that from people. They kind of get tired of watching videos that pop up. It's like, oh, great. It's another A53 5G review. I know exactly what you're going to say because you're going to read off the specs. You're going to tell me all the exact same stuff I've heard somewhere else. I wanted to do something a little bit different because when people like to watch this stuff, this phone's been out for a little while now. You already know a lot of the stuff about this phone, but what makes it special to why you, why you should consider it? Why is it something that would work well in your pocket? Why is it an appealing phone, especially with the price drop? Is it something you should consider picking up? So those are the five things. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you liked this video and it was helpful for you in your decision-making process or it gave you validation. A lot of times people come and watch these videos after they've already bought it and they're like, yeah, yeah, man, I like that. I like what he's saying. I feel good about my phone. So those are the things that I want to talk about in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you like the style and the delivery and the methodology that I have here on my channel, Tech Odyssey. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out, which newsflash is absolutely every day. Like I'm more reliable than the post office, which I guess that's nothing to brag about nowadays because <laughs> maybe the, the post office or the train of old, the trains, they used to be really reliable. Like you could set your clocks by them. Uh, I'm pretty reliable and pretty consistent too. At least I think so. So that's all I've got. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for stopping by to watch this. I hope the video helped you a lot. I hope you have a wonderful day or night. If you're binge watching this late at night, and you can't sleep. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and sincerely I do. I'll see you guys next time.